Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to another video uh, and this one's going to be about the Raspberry Pi and using a function that will convert text to an image. Sounds a bit strange but I've got a requirement for it but I thought this would be a nice little um, way of showing you on how to do it and it's not all that difficult and once you've got uh, the first one under your belt the remainder shall come along. Um, best thing is you can't really break it so let's begin. So what I'll do, I've just got a temporary file, uh, just a quick ls to show that there's nothing in it and essentially what I'm going to just do, I'm just going to echo some text so we'll say hello world or YouTube I just realised this might fail so we've got a title.txt so you can call call text file whatever you like but you know it's not going to care so we just have a quick look at that and there you go so and it's exactly what we want so we've got the title text so now if I just clear that because I like to have a nice clear screen we've got the command already done so I'll just extend this out so we can show it a little bit more so what we're going to do is we're going to convert the, um, the text that I'm going to throw in so I'm going to convert it this 75085 that's going to give me a box that my text is going to go in uh, which the box is going to be transparent. We've got fonts, which is uh, Paltino bold, uh, font size of 60. The draw element, uh, yeah, I'm a bit wary on that, not too sure, but um, <laughs> move on to the next part. This is the file that I've got, so I'm, I'm bringing in my uh, file by using the cat element uh, within a bit of code and that'll pull it across, but I've also got a bit of an overlay where what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filling the text in orange but I'm going to have the outline of it as blue uh, and again it kind of does an overlay, so we'll see on how this pops out so run that through depending on how large you set this, I was playing around with this earlier this 750, it can take a while, I did time it around 30 odd seconds to do which when you're doing a YouTube video and trying to waffle through uh, it's not too clever but you'll get the uh, indication of what happens here so we should be about ready so there we go so there we go I've got my title.png so if I was to just minimize that use um, WinSCP got the title uh, on here, drop it across and there we have it, it's on my desktop. And there you go, that's what you get. Now, I've got a specific requirement for this. If you're looking at this video, you've obviously got the same requirement or similar that you want to do. Uh, you could really go to town on this by getting it to do an image of a, I don't know, uh, a list of, um, a list of text broken down by small worlds. You, you, there's all sorts that you can do, um, just let your mind run right. You can't break it, the worst thing that you can do is uh, set it running and it takes too long. Now I've got a Raspberry Pi, and again, for those who don't know, uh, Raspberry Pi is a small little credit card sized computer. Uh, it's not got the vast amount of memory of a modern PC nowadays. If you've got a, a modern up to date PC, this will work a hell of a lot quicker. It will run on um, Linux distributions like Ubuntu or LUbuntu no problems at all um, and play around with it uh, by all means uh, like share comment on the video ask me a question I'll hopefully try and answer it um, you never know uh, it might be a col collaborative thinking okay thanks a lot